What's up you guys? Thanks so much for tuning in today's video. It's a collaboration between myself and a bunch of other lovely ladies here on the platform. I'm going to have everybody's information down in the description box below. Definitely show them some love. It was my girl Beauty with Mika who decided for us to do a Galentine's Day collaboration and of course my girl Nisi W Beauty always knows how to put these things together. So definitely show some love to the two hostesses of the collaboration as well as all the other participants. But if you're new here, hi, I'm Kara. So thankful that you decided to tune into my channel. I hope you enjoy this look. And if you do, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into how I got this look going on for Galentine's Day. All right guys, so of course we are going to start off with some primer. I'm going to double prime. First, I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. And then I'm gonna take the Milk Hydro Grip because we can't have, you know, when you're hugging your gals, you can't have your makeup slipping and sliding all over the place, getting on your clothes and stuff. So this primer is gonna serve more for hydration and smoothing. And then the gripping primer is gonna make sure that everything that I put on top does stick. And of course, I've already done my skincare already. If you're curious about how I do my skincare, I do have a, like a skincare reel that I posted, was it this week, last week? over on Instagram so if you want to check that out you can, I'll put the direct link to the reel down in my description box just so you guys can check that out you guys I'm just taking that in because my allergies are kicking my behind right now so if you see a little something going on with this eye please pay it no attention my allergies are going ham I almost didn't show up to Galentine's Day okay <laughs> so I'm just taking that in because the milk the Milk Hydro Grip is so cooling and refreshing and relaxing like that. It's not like a minty sensation, but the cooling aspect of it, I just love this primer. I was taking that all in. I'm going to give that a minute to absorb and we're going to move on. Next, I'm actually going to go in with my bronzer and I'm taking the Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. I have mine in the shade Soleil Tan Deep Bronze. And I have been using this product. I don't think I've used it on camera as of yet, but I've definitely been using this product. You can see the swirls that used to be there are no longer there. I definitely enjoy it. I'm going to take this with my sponge and go right into the container. And then I like to just tap it in to my face. So you see it's a subtle bronze for me. This is the deepest shade that Chanel carried and it took them such a long time to do it. I would love to see them bring out more shades of this but I do enjoy this shade because it's like a natural like it says it's a healthy glow it just gives you that nice healthy bronze look where you're not doing too much when I'm going out with my friends because my friends are not all into makeup so even though I am I try not to like overdo it <laughs> so these nice natural looking products gets the job done for me I do love the scent of this product it is scented but it's like a it's like a light scent. It's not too overpowering if you ask me. So you see just a little bit of definition that it adds to the face. It's like a nice natural glow. Guys, with my allergies, everything has been so dry. My skin, my lips, my nails, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Lano Lips. And I think I was telling you about this product. This Lano Lips, like the hole there is just so big. <laughs> so I prefer to use my hand and apply it. And when I did my skincare earlier, I did use that, but just me and these allergies and everything it just got me all dried up next up i'm gonna take my concealer like i said my allergies are bothering me so i'm not gonna go as into the corner as i normally do i'm just gonna keep it down here but when i blend it you'll see it'll go up in, into that area i just don't want to apply nothing too much and get my eye irritated again taking my phase the anastasia magic concealer and mine is in the shades 20 and 21 if you want to see like the colors swatched separately or anything Definitely check out that full video that I have for you guys because I swatched it on two different sides so you can see the difference. I like to mix the two. I feel like I have to conceal even more when my allergies are bothering me because I feel like you could just see it all in my face. So. You see how you go around the where you put the bronzer so there's not too much bronzer in places where you don't want it. That's why I like to put my concealer after. 
so that way I can just clean up everything like if I went a little too crazy with the the bronzer the concealer helps me clean it up and then I can just go back in with that same sponge and add a little bit more if I want you see how concealer just made me look like 10 times more awake okay this is floating my boat here <laughs> I do have one more cream product that I want to use I want to take the highlighter from the Natasha Denona palette here I'm gonna take the highlighter I want to take the other side of that elf sponge I like to apply this highlighter better with a sponge I find like it just is so much more potent with the sponge so I want to use it up underneath so that glow can come from under from here I want to go ahead and take my L'Oreal true match nude I showed this in my new testing new drugstore makeup video that I had posted. I'm just going to apply this right here on the brush and I'm using the BK Beauty 101 brush with this slant here. I want to distribute the product all over and that's like literally one full drop of the product. I don't want to put too much. I've really been enjoying this product. It's nice and lightweight. You like barely feel it on your face. And it's not like high coverage or anything, but it just does a really good job at evening your skin tone out and just like perfecting everything. I love the fact that it has hyaluronic acid in it because I've been all about that skincare life as of lately. Like I haven't even been, I think I told you guys this recently, but I haven't, oh yeah, I did film my January favorites. That video will be the next video that's coming up. But I did mention in that video, I hardly had any, um, makeup favorites only because I haven't even been wearing makeup like that I've been more into just keeping that hydration into my in my skin and that's why I chose to go in with that Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer because it's more high coverage it's more of a full coverage concealer so anything that I wanted to cover up is basically covered up already so now with the with this foundation it just more perfects everything and makes everything like even in one skin tone so I am digging this now before I go on with powders, I'm just going to take this clean beauty blender and just press everything in. Make sure there's like no excess product sitting on top. I just love a finish that a sponge gives. So I always have to go over my face with a sponge. I can use a brush, but I will still end up going over with a sponge. And you see, it's just a little bit of product, but it's just excess. I don't want a lot of stuff sitting on my face, especially before I go in with powder. Because once you put the powder, it's going to look like a cakey mess. So I like to remove that product. Now for powder, I'm just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfect and Macro, Micro Powder. This is in the shade 3 Dark. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender sponge here. I'm going to just set all over with this powder here. And this puff really does lock everything in. I don't know. It just applies powder very differently than just going over with a brush. When I'm going in to hug my girls, I don't want nothing transferring off. So I just want to make sure everything is nicely pushed in and set y'all yeah, whenever i use this uh chanel bronzer i love to top it off with my gucci this is the gucci bronzer in the shade 04 let me tell y'all this combination to me is everything if i use one i definitely have to use the other i don't know they just go well so well together because it's like such a natural bronzer it's not doing too much I'm just grabbing a blending brush i want to take that same bronzer i'm gonna run this through the crease of my eye with me having and my allergies and everything I'm not gonna do anything too extravagant probably like maybe two shadows so I like to have my bronzer like peek it in the background just for like that added effect all right I want to bring some life back into my face I'm taking that covergirl priming glow mist another one of those new at the drugstore products that I had tried I really like the way this makes my face look. I had applied it before and after my makeup last time and I definitely did see a difference after I applied it. So you can see already, like it already brought back where I had that glow. You can definitely see where I had applied that highlighter from Natasha Denona before. It's like, it just emphasizes that glow that I already put on. So I'm really enjoying this as well. For blush, I'm gonna take the Glowish Very Juicy. This is her Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder. I finally got around to using it and I like this color guys finally got around to using it and I think it's appropriate for Valentine's Day wouldn't you say it's a nice berry that goes along with my skin tone 
Really quickly, I just want to go ahead and do my brows. I'm taking my ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. That ColourPop pencil, like, it's so smooth and creamy that you don't have to press too hard. You don't have to do much. And then from there, I just like to soften it up with Volumizing Pomade in Brown from Merit. And I'm not sure if my discount code with Merit still works, but if it does, I'll leave it linked down below. Just in case you guys are interested in the Merit products, because I've been using their products a lot. And as a matter of fact, I did feature them, a couple of their products, in my Best of 2021. As a matter of fact, I got the cheeky blush right here. I wore it to work the other day. Alright, brows are done, so now we are ready to get into these eyes. I'm just going to use the Natasha Nenona Mini Love Palette. Like, I love my girls, so I thought love would be appropriate. Oh, so the colors in this shade, I mean the colors in this palette is so cute. It's Are You My True Love. How cute, right? So I'm taking you, and I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush here, and I'm going to run that through my crease. It's like more purpley than anything. It's like a lilac kind of shade. I love that shade. I would actually go all over with that shade, but now you know it wouldn't be a look without my NYX glitter glue, right? So I'm going to put some on my brush. I swore this was going to be a simple look, but I kind of want to use this look, I mean this eyeshadow and this eyeshadow. I'm going to make the eye, the lighter one towards the center and then go deeper towards the outer corner. I be swearing I'm going to do something simple and then I sit here. You know, makeup gives me my mojo and I wanted to grab some spray because that shade is looking a little chunky. So I don't want too much fallout, cause I've, especially since I've already done my face first. I always end up going higher on the side. It never fails. So hopefully when I blend that out, we can blend them and make them a little symmetrical. Of course, going to take my blending brush, go through my crease again. And I didn't even put more shadow on this brush. I'm just literally just blending out those colors. I'm not trying to deepen it up or anything because I want it like a nice, bright daytime kind of look. So that's why I'm not doing like the dark out of V corner and everything. I want this simple as I said it was gonna be right like if I wanted to I can go in with this dark purple look and I have done that I've done that in the past using this palette definitely have used that as an out of V corner it's a little bit patchy and it takes a little working with and that's I would actually do that before I put on these shimmer shades I would try to make sure my transition my out of V all that if all that stuff is done and then go in with the shimmer shades but I'm just gonna go ahead pop on some liner and some false lashes that will help the look come together and I will be right back all right you guys so change of plans I had some technical difficulties because my kiss lash liner I feel like I had just opened one but I may have got it mixed up and this one was a little dried out so it was skipping and it was making my wing liner look a little crazy well not with my it was making my liner look a little crazy I had half the lash that was sticking half the lash wasn't so I ripped that lash off Went ahead and put some mascara just on my top lashes. I went ahead and opened up the matte black liner. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lash Enhancing Liquid Eyeliner. This was another one of the products that I had featured in the Test and New Drugstore makeup, but I had used the brown version in that video. And this is the matte black version, which it went on. I enjoyed it just like I did the brown one. So that's what my face is looking like now. And I'm going to go ahead with this Pat McGrath. What is this? This is the Pat McGrath Labs. Lip Fetish the Vinyl Lip Shine in Flesh 7. Honestly, if I was going out, I would put on something simple. Quick and simple like this. Because it keeps my lips moisturized and easy to apply. I don't have to have a lip liner on or anything like that. I'm still wearing my mask these days. So even if it does rub off in the mask, again, it's easy to apply. One, two, three. It's a balm. It's hydrating. And it adds a little bit of color. And I like this pigment because you're going to chill with your girls. You don't want to have to think too hard with all that lip gloss and stuff. Then it starts sticking to the food you're eating. And your hair starts sticking to it. I don't want all that. But this, nice, simple, easy, just like the rest of my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Valentine's Day look and my reasoning behind what I'm doing, what I do. Let me know what's your Valentine's or Galentine's Day plans. Um, we're probably gonna go out with the kids over the weekend. We have some errands and things to run out, run and do, so we're probably gonna hit the buffet like we always do, because feeding a family of five is not cheap, so the buffet always hits the spot. <laughs> um, I just want to wish you guys a very happy Valentine's Day. 
Whether you spend it with your boo thing, you spend it with your girls.